Oh. All right, let's go, Bourbon Quest. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. Ha ha! Stay hydrated, my friends. Mm. So, I want to say a big shout out to Olivia for the uh, Girls Gone Questing. It's, it's gotten quite a bit of reviews. She did a great job, so thank you, Olivia. Uh, but tonight, uh, we're doing a, another fresh crack on my latest find on my bourbon quest so i've had a, a few of these before but anyways what we're doing tonight is none other than larceny oh yeah barrel proof a122 uh coming in at 124.4 proof yeah john e fitzgerald larceny kentucky straight bourbon whiskey barrel proof hell yeah Oh, so um, uh, Johnny Fitzgerald was a treasury agent who at the time was the only person legally allowed to carry keys to the Rick houses. He often gave in to the temptation and frequently took from the best bourbon barrels uncut at barrel proof. Today you can taste this liquid in much the same way as John E. Fitzgerald Larceny Barrel Proof Small Badge Bourbon is made from a mingling of six to eight year old bourbon that is bottled uncut without chill filtration. This bourbon honors both the superb taste of this lawless treasury agent and the weeded bourbon legacy of the old Fitzgerald brand. Hell yeah. So, yeah, I was able to pick this up like a week, week and a half ago, something like that. So, um, I, it gets mixed reviews. My experience has been typically good with these, so we'll find out on the latest one. I, I know some people may already be getting B522, but I literally just got the, well, I got the C9121 like maybe a month and a half, two months ago. Didn't do a review on it because it was whatever. But and then I found this beauty out uh, when I was hunting up in Kentucky. Uh, so, anyways, it is a uh, uncorking here on Bourbon Quest, so cork pop. Oh, it's a weak cork pop. So we're going to pour it into the glass. And then, as always, here on Bourbon Quest, a new bottle opening gets a nice two ounce pour into what is currently the overflow overflow bottle which i gotta re or decanter because i gotta replace it because the cork came off on this thing i'm not highly disappointed in that oh that's the wrong thing <laughs> use a jigger bro Ooh, there we go so we got uh the uh, globe decanter which is a piece of shit I'm gonna replace that in the near future. I even hate to go to that, but yeah, the globe is like three quarters full. So, anyways, so yeah, tonight we're reviewing uh, Larceny uh, Barrel Proof A122. What was it? 124.4. Oh, I was right. 124.4. So, all right. Remember, stay hydrated, my friends. All right, let's get into it. I mean, the nose, honestly, for 124 proof, it's, it's soft and light. I mean, vanilla, caramel, a little bit of mint chocolate. The nose is very inviting on this. I mean, Sweet vanilla caramel mint ch or uh, yeah um, milk chocolate a little no I mean it's I think that's the ethanol I was about to say spice but I think that's the ethanol at 124 it's just vanilla caramel mint chocolate milk chocolate I should say a touch of cherry. Definitely get that wheat too. Very naughty on the nose. All right, let's go in for our first taste. Cheers, Bourbon Quest.
Yeah, you definitely get the the ethanol. I get that. Mint, chocolate, caramel, vanilla. I think it's very good. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um, I don't know. For some reason, and maybe my opinion is a little bit swayed because I've gotten kind of from watching other whiskey tube channels and semi to negative reviews on it and I'm not sure why I don't know it's not it's not an Elijah Craig barrel proof those are freaking fantastic and maybe you know with it being a weeded bourbon but I mean I think it's smooth I think it's sweet I think it's tasty the nose is extremely inviting I mean, I think it's, I think it's superb. I mean, um, retail on that should be around 65 retail. I would pay as much up to a hundred dollars for it. I wouldn't pay anything more than that. Um, but no, I think, I think it's really good. I don't know why I feel like that I've gotten some negative reaction on this. Um, I mean, if you're expecting it to be a, a, a William LaRue Weller or, or something, no, it's not. But, I mean, definitely at 65, and I would even say it's up to 100. I think it, I think it's a, I think it's an excellent weeded bourbon. If you like weeded, smooth, sweet bourbon, I, I don't see anything wrong with this at all. I mean, I'd pay, I'd pay 100 bucks for it. Which actually, I think that's what I paid ninety nine or something. I got the other ones at like sixty five, and I was bourbon hunting up in Kentucky a week, week and a half ago, and this was actually the only thing I bought. Yeah, I knew it was a little overpriced, but you know, there again, when I was doing, I, I don't mind for allocated highly allocated stuff like this if I want it think it's gonna be good blah 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 I don't mind paying a 20 to 30 percent premium for you know allocated stuff but you know but there again hold on cheers bourbon close I was also found some other stuff that I passed on because like I said yeah I paid like $99 for this larceny and I think retail is really 65 hey that, that's not a big deal to me to pay a hundred bucks for it if I really want it and especially for the channel blah 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 that's okay I, I don't have a problem with that at all but then you know, I found some other stuff out in the wild. I found, I went to two, well, I went to several different stores, but I found, uh, which I only have, I have one Rocky Hill Farm sitting over there. And, um, but I went to one store, uh, was it London or Corbin? Either way, they had a Rocky Hill Farm and he was willing to sell it to me for two ninety nine. I'm like, eh. As much as I like Rock Hill Farms, like I think retail or the last the bottle that I've got, I paid like maybe sixty five dollars for. So no, I'm not gonna pay three hundred for. I'm not gonna. Pay, well, he had it for two ninety nine, three hundred bucks. Literally, the next store I went to, I also got found one there. They wanted three ninety nine for it, so I passed on them both. And then I went to. Um, um, Liquor Vault, I think it's, it's either London or Corbin, I think it's Corbin, but anyways, and they had all kinds of stuff, I mean, they had Old Rip, uh, Van Winkle 12, but they were wanting like $1,500, $2,000, and even they they didn't have like a Frank Sinatra for like three hundred bucks, 
and and uh, Blanton's for 150. I mean, I mean, if you don't care about money and value, like I I would say go hit up a liquor vault. It's either I no, it's Williamsburg liquor vault in Williamsburg. If you, if you don't care to, you know, flush money out of your asshole to get some Holly Alcatraz stuff, they had several, you know, from a couple of, uh, you know, Old Rip, uh, Van Winkle 12, uh, Sinatra, uh, Blends, Weller 12, Weller Antique. Yeah, I mean, they had at least... 10 to 15, you know, fairly highly allocated bourbons. But, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not paying double, triple, quadruple for whatever the retail is. Now, do I mind paying a hundred bucks for the larceny when I know the value is probably like 65? No, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, but those other things, yeah. The whiskey's not that good, bro. But if you just gotta have it and you don't care about bending over and puckering up your asshole to pay for it, then go ahead. But, hey, and like I said, on this Larceny, I didn't mind paying a hundred bucks for it. Um, I mean, I'd rather have paid 65, but, you know. I saw a guy, I needed to justify the gas money I spent, so I went ahead and picked this up. And it's, it's really good. It's delicious. Um, I don't think it's the greatest barrel proof in the world, but it's really good. I, mean, I, I, I I'm trying to remember why it was getting such a bad rap, because I like it. Mm. Oh yeah, oh caramel, vanilla, smooth, sweet, delicious. So I'm gonna give it up. I think this is a definite buy. I mean, I do not regret buying this for a hundred bucks. I I would say I wouldn't pay more than a hundred bucks for it if I were you and you're watching this review. Um, Obviously, if you can get it for less than a hundred bucks, six. You're not getting it for less than sixty-five. So, sixty-five to a hundred dollars. I say to buy all day long. I mean, I may have to go back and revisit things because uh, I got like four or five large barrel proofs. Uh, I think B five twenty-one, which one whiskey of the year, or whatever. It's probably still my favorite, but this is this is delicious. It's it's a buy. Uh, I'm gonna pour one more dram before we turn off the camera. Now this is really good. I I do not, you know, God damn it. But it's like I I do I do not regret paying basically a hundred bucks for this. I mean, yeah, granted, I would have liked to pay less. I think you can get it anywhere from 65 to 100. I wouldn't pay more than 100 for it. Um, but then, you go back and watch my video from like two weeks ago. I got a cast on key for, what was it, 40, 45? Highly anticipated, and that was freaking garbage. So, yeah. This is good. Mm. No, it's really good. Yeah, I would totally recommend this. Uh, if you can get it anywhere from 65 to 100 bucks, I think it's a buy all day long. And I'm enjoying it. Alright. It's the middle of the week. It's already been a long week, but the weather's not well. 
I say the weather signs, it's actually fucking hot. And I don't know how the weather is in your area, but I mean, I don't mind it. I, I, I prefer the heat over the cold any day, so I'm not, I'm not trying to complain at all. But yeah, the, this Larceny uh, Barrel Proof, uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it right again. 124.4? Was I right? I can't get in my glass. Oh yeah, I was right again. That that's delicious. I uh, I would say if you can get this anywhere from between sixty five to a hundred bucks, it's a buy. Anything above a hundred bucks, yeah. Wait for the next batch. Yeah, that's what I would say. But um no, I'm glad I got it. Glad I got to get this content out to you. Um, yeah, it's home day. So that's a wrap. Larceny Barrel Proof A122 by all day long between 65 and 100 bucks. Anything more than that, I would pass. But no, it's it's really good. I don't care what the other whiskey dude channels have to say I think it's good I like it I would buy it again even at a hundred bucks granted I like to get it for less but I still pay another hundred dollars for it alright that's a wrap yo we gotta go uh, have some dinner and drink some more whiskey and remember Bourbon Quest as always my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a wrap, yo. That was good. That's large. It's good. Buy it, baby.